everybody on YouTube, everybody on Instagram, everybody you follow, even me is ahead of you in your life and it sucks. But I'm going to change all that with this, okay? So, how do you get ahead of 99% of people in your industry, in your market, in your genre. Okay, so we're gonna use this knife figuratively and then we're gonna use something else. We're gonna use this staff or this stick as well as metaphors. So step number one is to slice the market. So to slice the market means to discover their life support. What is driving these companies? what makes them more profitable than anybody else. Once you locate their fruit, you slice their legs up from under them, okay? So, we take away, we take away money makers. Okay, so I'll give you guys an example. I own Anti-Job University, all right? One day, I hope you know, and pray that Anti-Job University can be as big as a Harvard University or a Yale or a Stanford or one of those, okay? But they are hundreds of years ahead of me right now. What can I do? What are some things that I can do to slice the market? Well, I know that a lot of these colleges are tu tuition-based. So one thing that I can do is create an irresistible offer Position myself uniquely and make it a tuition-free, a no-tuition university, right? Then I can take a look closer into the things that they teach there and figure out the weak points. What are the complaints, all right? What would catapult the students further, faster? And then I can offer that. So if I take away what they charge, what is making them profitable and I give that away for free and figure out other monetization methods, my school can jump 100 years up to where I can compete with them, at least through word of mouth marketing and advertising. So that is me slicing the market. So write that down right now, guys. There are people that have way bigger marketing budgets than you. A bigger black book, they have more connections. They have uh, uh, more followers and fans, all right? But does that really mean anything? No, if you can figure out what is the reason behind their engine working, then you can run up and snatch the spark plugs out. You understand what I'm saying? All right, so you don't have that type of car no more. Now you gotta, a, 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 a water-based car, like it runs off of water, you know, <laughs> it don't have to use electricity or gas. So you come with the water car now. It's definitely environmentally friendly. You see what I'm saying? So that is how you slice the market. Find their money makers and whatever they're charging for, you give that free. Whatever they teach, the way they teach, you teach it differently. Don't focus on being best or better because then you can't compete with them. Focus on being the only. Then people will have to say, oh, even though you go to Harvard for this, even though you go to Yale for this, Anti-Job University is the only one that will allow the students to earn first and learn as you go, only. You see? So now we move to number two, which is to control the market. So how do we control the market? All right, so there's three ways you can control the market. I, I pray that you guys are writing this down, all right, because this will work in any industry that you are, are in. If you guys haven't already joined the Asset Empire, then that link is in the description where you will get three to five monetized assets that you can actually apply these strategies to, okay? So we have A. A would be to clone them. Okay, so there are certain um, features and stuff that you guys are used to. And then it'll be a new platform that pops up. Uh, so as you can see, like what, TikTok popped up and started drowning out a lot of the other social media uh, companies. But don't think TikTok was the first. Before that, Vine was the sharp form. Do you see what I'm saying? So 
clone them, the best parts of them, figure out a way to clone their features without some type of copyright infringement or some type of lawsuit type stuff. So figure out a way to create the shorts of your uh, whatever you have, okay? Clone them. That's a way to catch up and speed up, right? Take the best features of whatever they have, clone that and make it a little bit different. All right, next step is to merge them. Okay, so guess what? Sometimes if your brand is big enough and they respect you as an equal competitor, um, they'll actually do mergers with you. You guys can partner. Maybe they have a product that's not a direct competitor with yours. Okay, for example, let's say that you're a personal trainer and then you have a competing personal trainer and you guys are both competing for the same clients. And you're in the same gym competing for the same clients. But guess what? You have bigger arms than that man, Pauls. Your arms are better. Okay, but guess what? He has a better six pack than you. Cool, right? So guess what? Y'all can merge together and create a program to where people can get the best arms and the best six packs and both of y'all can profit from that and you're not competing anymore. Now you're leveraging each other. You see, so that's how a lot of these businesses work. You'll notice sponsored by this company or sponsored by that company. You're like, but they sell the same stuff. But it's other things that they have that is not in direct competition that will allow them both to grow together. So you can clone them or you can merge with them. So what is C? C is buy them. <laughs> now, if your ducats are up there, if you got a little bit of cake cake, you understand, not in the bakery, <laughs> all right, if you got some money, then you can buy them out with intimidation on the Suge Knight level, right? <laughs> but you can buy them out, right? So you give them the offer. Be like, look, we're going to like overthrow the market anyway. This is your chance to walk away with some dignity and your head high. At least you can get a little bit of some sum out of this, right? Maxwell, all right? So <laughs> you hear me? Like you can buy them out. So it's a lot of apps on the market, uh, on the uh, Google Play Store that I was considering. Like when I was doing a uh, bank in a box situation, I was like, dog, I don't really wanna build a lot of this stuff from scratch and have to go through the laws and all of this extra stuff with licensing. I was like, hmm, I wonder if I can approach some of these app owners that maybe only have 20,000 downloads and all of that extra stuff, they ain't really popping like that. What would happen if I approached them and tried to either merge with them uh, or buy them out? You see what I'm saying? So you can look for opportunities like that and that since they already have a customer base, you understand? Now you will inherit that or adopt that customer base up under your own umbrella of assets, guys. Right? So this is how you can get ahead of 99% of the people in the market. First, you slice them out. You cut their legs up from under them. You understand what I'm saying? If you are in a martial arts fight, right, and this person is a kickboxer, but you're good at grappling, your best bet is to figure out how to cripple his legs. How can I cripple them, cripple them legs first? I'm not that skilled with the stand-up, but maybe it's something I could do to sweep and get 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 low or something and you know hurt that mug, like pull one of them joints up out of that mug or something, right? Take away the weapons. Now he gotta meet you on your level, right? So you figure that out. Whatever that is in your industry, whoever the industry leader is, figure out what is making them an industry leader, and then figure out how to give whatever they're charging for away for free or do it in a different delivery method, right? Okay, so that is how you get ahead of 99% of people.